Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to take a look at some basic uh, document traversing or basic traversing in jQuery. Uh, and essentially, what we're going to be doing is passing along, which is essentially what tra traversing is, passing along each input field on this page. Uh, and there only happens to be two at the moment, but essentially, what we're going to be doing is taking the results from each input field on the page and we're going to be combining the two. Now obviously this isn't really, well this doesn't really have its practical uses. If you were to for example want to combine a name you'd probably uniquely reference each of these anyway uh, and then just combine the values. But we're just going to be looking at the each statement or the each uh, you know, function or whatever you want to call it in jQuery where we can pass along uh, each element uh, by a specific type and we're going to be choosing the input type with a, uh, or an input field with the type text. Okay, so let's go ahead over to our text editor and we'll start to write this out. So um, inside index.php we've obviously got um, jQuery included here as well as ext.js which is just going to handle uh, or have all of our jQuery code in. I'm going to go ahead and create a, a couple of input fields and then I'm going to create a div area that's going to show the combined results. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create two input fields with the type text uh, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and surround these in paragraph tags so we can keep them separate from our div uh, that we're going to put down here in just a moment. Uh, let's then go and create a button as well which is going to uh, have an event handler assigned to it and this is just going to be a combined button. So uh, the type is button obviously and the value we can just say combine. We need to go ahead and give this an ID uh, and I'm just going to call it combine or combine. So we can uh, obviously, let's just go and refresh. We can type something in here and here, click combine, uh, and then we process the uh, traversing of these two fields, or as many fields as we have on our uh, page. And then just down here, we're going to display them in a div area. So I'm going to go ahead and create a div. And we'll go ahead and give this an ID of combined. That just makes sense, so combined. Uh, and obviously, it's not visible on the page, but obviously, whatever we put inside of here, will uh, be a, uh, you know be visible and we're going to be putting the text inside of here from the combined once we press combine so quite straightforward let's go ahead and get rid of this now let's go ahead over here to ext.js which I mentioned we have included uh, in this page uh, and let's start writing the jQuery code so the first thing we want to do is wait for the document to be ready so we use document and the ready event handler Inside of this event handler, we outline a function. So we've got function, our parentheses, and we've got uh, our block here. And I'm just going to pull that down, and anything inside of here is what's going to be executed when the DOM is loaded and the document is ready. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do is actually set up an event handler for our combine button. So we've got this combine button, uh, and we need to use a selector to select this, and we're going to be selecting it by ID. So our name is combine here, uh, so we want to go ahead and use a hash because we're using an ID selector, and then combine. Uh, the event handler is just going to be click, so once this button is clicked like this, uh, we run the function inside of this event handler. So let's go ahead and outline that function and just again pull it down as we did with document and the ready event handler. And we want to go ahead and first of all just initiate a variable that ha uh, called combine text. Um, Obviously we need somewhere to store our combined text uh, before we place it into our div. So I'm just going to say var combined text. And because we're using, do oh sorry, equals nothing. Uh, so var combined underscore text equals nothing, but we have string data here. The reason that we do this is when we use each, if we don't go ahead and uh, create a variable beforehand, the combined text variable will show as unset or is not set because we're going to be just using we're going to be using the plus equals operator to just combine the values on. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a moment. So now's the uh, step of actually selecting um, all input uh, fields with the type of text. So again, we use a jQuery selector, and onto the end of this, we're going to use the each um, statement or the each function. 
so inside of here we want to say input uh, at its current state that's selected all input fields but in brackets we want to supply where the type is equal to text uh, so any input field with the type of text will now be selected and what we want to do is we want to use each on the end of this uh, and this will actually sort of loop through each uh, occurrence of this selector on the page so we've got one here and we've got one here so inside of each we uh, use a function once again uh, now we can supply an additional uh, thing in here we could say index if we wanted to uh, and what this would do is if we were for example to say alert index uh, you'll notice that when we refresh and click combine you'll see we've got zero here which represents this one here and then we've got one here which represents this uh, field here so we can use the index if we want um, we can obviously also use I think we can do index and then value and we can output index plus and we'll just do a space plus value so we're appending on a space here uh, as opposed to, well apart sorry again with these index and value uh, and if we were to go ahead and type say let's refresh Alex carrot and click combine uh, okay yeah so we don't we don't have this uh, here but I'm going to show you another way to do it so we'll just ignore that for now and we'll go ahead and ignore this for now we can also get the value by using this here which refers to the current input type that's selected so either the one at index 0 or index 1 uh, and then we can use dot val on the end sorry dot val